On many days, the wind is just too much for all those windmills we see across the landscape. Yeah, the blades actually spin too fast, wearing out the gears, running up repair costs. New tonight, KETV News Watch 7's Andrew Ozaki talks to the University of Nebraska researcher who may soon have a solution. Keeping the electricity flowing out of wind turbines even on days like these. A researcher at the University of Nebraska Lincoln believes he knows how to do it. Jay Chang, an electrical engineering doctoral candidate, developed this model to show his unique concept. When the wind is a blowing, it cranks out electricity and also powers a compressor that fills an air tank. The tank could even be put inside of the wind tower. This is a very compact system. When the wind dies, that air is released to drive the generator. We have proved this system could uh, increase the overall generation by 8.5%. Uh, Chen came up with the idea after working at a turbine manufacturing facility. He saw how current turbines adjust the pitch of the blades when the wind whips up so as not to damage the generator. The, the energy just spilled. Chen slows down the rotation by driving the air compressor. So this way, uh, we can have more overall generation and also increase the stability of the system. The increased efficiency isn't just whistling in the wind, according to renewable energy advocates. If you're ad able to add another 9%, that means that much more electricity that's going to be generated by the wind. That, that also means that, that that much less energy has to be developed, be generated by fossil fuels. Cheng is partnering with Lincoln Electric System and the American Public Power Association. They want to find out just how viable is this design that gives turbines a second wind. They are very interested in this technology and want to promote this technology. In Lincoln, Andrew Ozaki, KETV, News Watch 7. Cheng hopes to have prototypes he can test outdoors within the next year.